Welcome to Finance Cottage. This video is on foreign currency exchange rate, quotation and conversion. Let's talk about quotations first. Whenever foreign currency exchange rates are quoted, it is important to differentiate between the base currency and the quoted currency. For example, take a look at this relationship. It says that one unit of base currency is equal to the given units of quoted currency. It means in a foreign currency exchange rate the currency whose unit is assumed to be 1 is the base currency and the currency whose units are given in the exchange rate is the quoted currency. Normally in foreign exchange market there are different conventions used to represent the foreign, ex foreign currency exchange rate quotations. For example in this convention we write the unit of currency on the left hand side and it says that one unit of the first currency is equal to the given unit of the second currency for example in this case we can say that one Swiss franc is equal to 1.1839 US dollars some other times a, a division sign is inserted between the two currencies and it represents the same idea and it says that one unit of currency in the numerator is equal to the given unit of currency in the denominator. For example, in this case we can say that one unit of Swiss franc is equal to 1.1839 US dollars. But some other times we write the unit of the currency on the left on the right hand side and it represents the base currency in the denominator and the quoted currency in the numerator. And here in this example, we, we can say that $1.1839 are equal to one Swiss franc. Or we can say that the exchange rate between dollar and franc is $1.1839 per franc. And same is sometimes represented like this, that $1.1839 per one franc. So whatever the convention uh, uh, you use it is important to understand that what is our base currency and what is our quoted currency so this is about the foreign exchange rate quotations so let's talk about conversion okay before discussing the foreign currency exchange rate conversion please note that in the rest of this video we shall be using this convention given in the third point where we shall write the unit of the exchange rate on the left hand side and we shall read it as 1.1839 dollars per franc and the base currency would be given in the denominator and in the numerator it would be the quoted currency so let's talk about foreign exchange rate conversion to understand the conversion process we need to understand two things first one is the difference between the direct quotation and indirect quotation and second one is the difference between bid and ask price the direct quotation is the quotation of one unit of foreign currency for the given units of the domestic currency for example in this case it says that one Swiss franc is equal to 1.1839 dollars and now dollars, dollars, dollar is the home currency in United States so we can say that this quotation is the direct quotation for United States but on the other side this quotation 1.1839 dollars per franc is the indirect quotation for Switzerland so the, the difference between the direct and the indirect quotation is that these two are the reciprocal of each other second thing is the difference between bid price and the ask price the bid price is the price at which the foreign currency buyer will buy the currency this is the rate of foreign currency market and the foreign currency buyer will buy at a price which is known as the bid price ask price is the price of the seller it is the price of foreign currency buyer uh, seller sorry at which the foreign currency seller will sell the currency and this is also the rate of foreign currency market so the bid price is the price at which 
the buyer will buy the base currency and ask price is the price at which seller will sell the base currency for example in this case if the bid price is 1.1839 dollars per franc it means that foreign currency buyer will buy one swiss franc for 1.1839 dollars similarly the bid price between dollars and yen is 0 0.0122 this means that foreign currency buyer will buy one Japanese yen for 0 0.0122 dollars. Regarding the ask price, the ask price is the price of seller, the foreign currency seller. It is the price at which the foreign currency seller will sell the base currency. For example, 1.1841 dollars per franc means that it is the it is the price at which the foreign currency seller will sell one Swiss franc and it will sell one Swiss franc for 1.1841 dollars and similarly the foreign currency seller will sell one, one yen for 0 0.0134 dollars so this is the difference between the bid and the ask price so let's talk about conversion of currency we want to convert Swiss francs into Japanese yen and we know the bid price of Swiss franc and US dollars bid and ask price and we also know the bid and ask price of Japanese yen for US dollars so to understand uh, the conversion rate between two currencies or the cross rate between two currencies we need to understand or we need to take a look at this rule of thumb this rule of thumb states that if the rate of two currencies are quoted in same terms the cross rate is really a cross that is bid to offer and offer to bid and it involves division this says that if we if if the two currencies if the two base currencies are quoted against the same currencies like here in this example the Swiss franc one unit of Swiss franc is quoted for one US dollars and one unit of Japanese yen is quoted for US dollars so both currencies Swiss franc and Japanese yen uh, are quoted uh, for the same currency and if this is the case and we want to cal we want to to calculate the cross exchange rate between Swiss franc and Japanese yen the rule of thumb say states that bid should be divided by the offer and offer should be divided by the bid and it involves the cross term the bid to ask and ask to bid so according to this rule of thumb let's calculate the the bid price of one yen for against the swiss franc the bid price is the price of buyer at which the the foreign currency buyer will buy the base currency so we want to know at what Swiss franc value the foreign currency buyer will buy the yen so according to the rule of thumb because two currencies are quoted against the same currency we need to divide bid to the offer and offer to the bid or bid to the ask and ask to the bid so here we want to calculate the bid price so we shall write the formula as bid divided by the ask and we know that the bid price is the price of yen and we know the the exchange rate of yen for dollars so we can write the bid price of dollar per yen and ask price is the price of at which the foreign currency seller will sell so we shall write the ask price of dollar per franc so this is dollar per franc so what is the bid price of dollar per yen the bid price of dollar per yen is 0 0.0122 so we can write this value here and divided by the ask price of dollar per franc the ask price of dollar per franc is 1.1841 so we can write this amount in the denominator and if we divide the bid price of 
dollar per yen to the ask price of dollar per franc we can get the value equal to 0 0.0103 franc per yen so this is the exchange rate between uh, at which the foreign currency buyer will buy the yen so the foreign currency buyer will buy one yen for 0 0.0103 Swiss franc so we can write the exchange rate here let me highlight this so okay here let's calculate the ask price of franc per yen so here we want to know the price in terms of Swiss franc at which the foreign currency seller will sell one yen so because we want to calculate the ask price the formula would be ask divided by the bid now the ask price is the price at which the foreign currency seller will sell yen or foreign currency seller will sell the base currency so we shall write the ask for ask price of dollar per yen divided by the bid price of dollar per franc now the ask price of dollar per yen is 0 0.0134 so you can put this figure here in the numerator and in the denominator we need to write the bid price of bid price of dollar per franc so bid price dollar per franc is 1.1839 so we shall put this figure in the denominator so when we divide the ask price of dollar per yen to the bid price of dollar per franc the answer is the exchange rate in terms of franc per yen so this is franc per yen so if you compare these two you can understand that the foreign currency buyer will buy 1 yen for 0 0.0103 francs and foreign currency seller will sell 1 yen for 0 0.01132 so he's selling at a higher price and buying at a lower price and the difference will go to the foreign currency market 